Hello everybody from Maud Barlow and all of us at the Council of Canadians. It's the end of week two of the Canadian federal election and I'm hoping to bring this kind of message to you each week, just the thoughts that I and, and uh, are my colleagues here have about what's happening and what's unfolding and what's important. And I guess the main thought from the end of week uh, two is a deep concern about the way the Harper team and the and Stephen Harper, the Prime Minister himself, have tried to shut down democracy and open debate on, on the campaign trail. I mean, he has been turning away, literally kicking out as if these kids are, you know, in a bar and there's a bouncer kicking them out, young people who've come to hear him and come to hear the conservative message for things as small as, I mean, they've clearly been vetted ahead of time, having worked on a bottled water ban at their university, or wearing a t-shirt that has a, a message about alternative me energy, or having attended the rallies and, and information sessions of other political parties. This is appalling. This is anti-democratic, anti-Canadian. Anti um, and I feel that it, in the deepest sense, it tells us who this person is. I, we started around here calling him King Harper. Who this person is and why he would do this um, and what it means for the future of democracy. And um, we're going to try to burst that bubble and we're inviting Canadians to come to our website. So I guess my special appeal this week is to the youth. We need you to get out and care. We need you to speak up at these rallies. We need you to stand up. Uh, and say we need to be heard and we're not going to be shut out of the, shut out of the de democratic process. And, and we need your, your commitment because together we need to build a, a real democracy in this country which is, is being shut down. I think that if um, this is any indication, this behavior this week, of where a Harper government, a Harper majority would go, it frightens me. Quite frankly, I have to say that. Um, I, I think it's very important for us to deny Stephen Harper a majority and for us to fight very hard um, to, to burst this bubble of, of secrecy and anti-democratic behavior um, and have the real and true debate that we are, are owed in this country. What are we having a federal election for if we're not allowed to have a debate, if we're not allowed to talk about the things that Canadians care about, our terrible climate? Uh, uh, legislation or, or, or position, or, or, you know, an economy that's just and fair for everyone, good working conditions for everyone, our health care, the health care accord that's coming up in a few years. We need to talk about these issues. Canadians care about these issues. Our clean water, the fact that we have still are not recognizing the right to water at the UN. These are the issues Canadians want to talk about. They don't want to have a sealed election uh, where any discussion or any hint of democracy is, is closed down.